So I just woke up. I literally couldn't sleep anymore. That's how excited I am to do this makeup. But anyway, in short, um, I saw this photo of Devin Aoki on my Instagram explore page last night. And that single event led me to make a YouTube channel and a video today recreating not only the look but the photo as well enjoy okay, so the preparation for this starts the night before I put this here because in the photo she has curtains and like a cool couch but like I don't got that I figured I put one of my paintings in the back and I'll just be in my little art computer chair the problem is that I usually have my paintings on this free big wall but in the daytime that's going to be an issue because the window is right here in front of me so if I do it on that wall I'm just going to have light coming from one side I'm going to need light from the window straight on because I don't have any lights or an actual camera or anything so in order for my camera to take clear pictures I need to have this light source so this kind of looks bad, but my idea is that if I crop it the right way, this can be the border. If I crop it here, here, and I, I'll be more zoomed in because it should only show like here up. So I feel like if I crop it, it might look okay. This is the most boring part, so I figured it's not interesting to see me struggling to put this up. Hopefully the picture looks good because then no one will be seeing this footage. Okay. So I just straighten the front of my hair and the ends because they have to be super smooth and sleek. But that caused me to realize that I didn't even show the photo yet. Because I'm filming on my phone, I'm just going to show you my computer. I don't, I'm not... I don't know how to like insert stuff because I'm not a YouTuber, but she has like black glossy lips and a purple eye. My hair, I'm not going to do exactly the same. Okay, so for the hair, I parted it on the side. I put this clip here just because I don't want my hair in my face when I'm doing the makeup, but I know these clips are for setting hair, but they look really cute. Anyway, so I just put my hair in a ponytail, did the side part, straighten the front and the ends, and right now I'm, I'm just gonna twist it, twist it around, and I kind of want hair sticking out like this. I'm gonna have to go in the bathroom because I can't really see. And then I'm just gonna clip it. Is this cute? Okay, I'm gonna fix it and we'll do the makeup. Normally I would start with the face but I tried the black glossy lip last night because I was too excited and bruh I've done a dark matte lip before and it's cute but a black glossy lip is next level a black glossy lip with no makeup that's why I'm gonna do it first because I want you guys to see how cool it is but the only issue is that okay a matte dark lip you could just put like setting spray and it stays and it doesn't get on your teeth really. But a matte glossy lip, how do you preserve that? That's the only issue of why I might not do it as often as I would like is because bruh, it already gets all over your teeth. I just have a black <laughs> highlighter that I'm gonna use as the pencil and I'm just gonna line my lips and fill them in. Fire. And now I'm going to take a black lipstick and just go over it. Look at this. Isn't this so cool? For the eyes, she has a purple iridescent, and I literally have the perfect product for this. It's a milk thing called Supernova. Um, and it's more in the center and the inner corners, not really on the ends. So I'm just going to go ahead and, um, 
start putting that on the center. I hope it shows up. Can you see that? In the center, I have the photo over here. It's in the center and kind of goes all the way up to the brow. I already changed my earrings because she has silver earring, it's silver jewelry instead of gold jewelry. So I changed my earrings. I put this ring. And I'm still gonna wear my name ring and stuff just because, come on. So I'm gonna be back here. Oh yeah, you're not even gonna be able to see my makeup <laughs> in the actual photo. Now for the liner, all my black liquid liners are kind of dried up. I have this brown one, and then I'll just go over with the same black that I did my lips with. Um, if it's not dark enough. So, hold on. This requires a lot of concentration. I like doing makeup more than hair, but I don't like going out with makeup. As soon as I'm done with this, I'm gonna just wash it off. Yeah, this looks so cute. I feel like in on the camera, it doesn't look as cute as in real life. Oh my gosh. I love it so much. I feel like it looks better in person, but whatever. I just did a concealer, bronzer, and like some blush. Um, the last thing that I'm going to film on camera is the eyebrows. I just gelled up eyebrows. Um, but her eyebrows kind of like fan in by the top of the nose bridge. I don't really have hairs down here, but I'm going to dress them on. And I'm gonna gel the fronts up like this. Can you tell what I'm doing? Like that. All right, now I'm gonna draw on some of the strokes. Can you see that? That kind of looks good. Okay, I think that's gonna be it. Hers is kind of flopping down, but my hair is longer in the front, so like this, maybe. Um, for the clothes, obviously I don't have her like leather harness thing. Definitely going more casual. Um, I just have a little square neck black tank top. Like plain black underwear. Um, hopefully my neighbors aren't watching me, but I'm going to change into that. Then I'm going to take the photo. Um, I don't know if I'm going to record me, like, modeling because I'm filming this on my phone. I'm kind of embarrassed anyway <laughs> to, like, record myself posing, but we'll see. Bye guys. So I just came back from walking my dog. Took all the makeup off for the most part. Um... There was no way I was going to have black gloss smudged all over my face and my mask. Um, so I ended up only taking like 10 pictures, but I think I could work with them. I'm going to see if I could edit them now. Um, some takeaways is that besides the lip, which you should all try today, um, I kind of like the brow look. Um, I might start filling my brows in over there. I think it suits me um, I kind of like the hair too I've been trying to do more hairstyles in general I just really liked being all the moving parts I liked being the hair person the makeup person the set director uh, the model the photographer the editor um, so that was really fun and also this just shows what inspiration can do when inspiration hits I'm like a tornado bro like this was all done in under 24 hours not even I would say under 12 hours <laughs> so um yeah it's really cool what that could do so I'm gonna go edit now hope you guys enjoy